In the honeybee colonies where each of the many bees is assigned a specific task, the only exception is the male honeybee. The males do not contribute to the cleaning of the hive, to gathering food or to making of the honeycomb and honey. The only function of the male bees in the hive is to inseminate the queen bee. The males possess almost none of the features possessed by the other bees. The worker bees carry the entire load of the colony. They have several duties, cleaning the hive, maintaining the larvae and the young, feeding the other bees, gathering supplies like nectar, pollen, water and resin, and storing these in the hive. Although they are females like the queen, their ovaries have not developed. This renders them sterile. The features of these creatures are described in the Quran in Surat An-Nahl, which means the honeybee. Your Lord revealed to the bees, build dwellings in the mountains and the trees and also in the structures which men erect. Then eat from every kind of fruit and travel the paths of your Lord which have been made easy for you to follow. From inside them comes a drink of varying colors containing healing for humanity. There is certainly a sign in that for people who reflect. This verse contains an important secret that can only be understood by means of Arabic grammar. In Arabic there are two different usages of verbs. By means of the usage, it is possible to determine whether the subject is a female or a male. As a matter of fact, the verbs used for the honeybee in the verses are used in the format of the verb for females. Through this, it is indicated that the honeybees that work in the making of honey are females. It must not be forgotten that gender in insects was only understood through modern biological observations. The fact that the worker bees are all female was only established in our day. Yet God shows another miracle of the Quran by drawing our attention to this fact in verses.